It's like you don't understand. No, art is literally so easy. Like anyone can draw, but like AP physics, like right. can anybody do math? I don't think no, so. Like no, literally, no, AP art for people like, can't handle. Like, I don't know how to draw. AP's. Like it's AP so bad really easy, and like, so boring, so like, easy. It's just like you feel bad. This is my AP art portfolio and we're going to look at it. I got a 5 on this, which is the best score you can get because I'm perfect. If you can't draw, don't do AP art. If you can draw, also don't do AP art. In this big envelope is the 5 pieces that I sent to the Acorn company. Funny story, I actually didn't pick up this package for like, like half a year because when they were calling me, I thought it was a scam, even though they kept calling me six months later when the same phone number has been calling me over and over again. Um, they finally sent an email saying, hey, your package is in, is in the little mail place that they have, post office. Obviously I thought this was a scam because I was like, I don't send packages. What package would I have sent to America that would have come back around July when AP exams were out? So my question was about climate change. So I, like my teacher basically chose for me because I had already drawn something related to climate change and then they were like, just do that. And I was like, all right, sure, why not? So pro tip, figure out what question you want to do at the start of the school year so you don't get screwed over. So here it is. Here's my portfolio, we're gonna look at it. Okay, so this is the first piece of the portfolio. It's a little scalabro and he's sinking in water and there's a bunch of jellyfishes um, doing the little um, anime thing when they get a little... Uh, they're giving him a nice little hug and he's just having a good time in the water. This is supposed to represent... I actually don't remember. I really like how this piece turned out actually. This is my first time like drawing something. First of all, something this big and also like a, skele a skeleton dude. And I really like how the jellyfish turned out and they look really good in watercolor. So I rate this piece like... This one's like a four out of five. Do I make a tier list? Am I, am I tier listing right now? Uh, four out of five. Ooh, this one, this one is one of my favorites. All of them are my favorites. This is Taehyun from NCT, and um, you you don't know this now, but this doesn't look like my style. And you you don't know this because you haven't seen the rest of the pieces. But another pro tip: if you have art friends in your art class. You can ask them for help. I'm not saying you make them draw your pieces for you. I'm not saying that. Okay, so this was like one of my final pieces in my portfolio. So my main question was, how do humans harm the ocean? But I had another sub question, which is, how humans harm the ocean and in turn harm themselves? To answer the question, it's human ignorance will continue to harm the ocean and human ignorance is what in turn will kill ourselves. I drew a little human and he is sinking into the water. He's going to die soon. Kim, Kim Taehyung from, Tim, Kim, what, what is he? Taehyung from NCT is not going to do so, he's not going to be so good later. He's sinking in the water and there's a bunch of buildings mixed with sea creatures in the background and there's some eyeballs who are looking in the opposite direction. They are ignoring him. Let's see what I did there. I like the way the water foamy bits turned out because I was really scared how that was gonna work. Also, I did it with like paint, so there was no like undo, like this was, this was do or die. And it turned out great. So like, like I'm a risk taker. I just wish, like, I think in most of my pieces, I wish I wasn't, af I wouldn't be afraid to, like, push the boundaries. Oh, okay, that sounds way too pretentious. What I'm trying to say is, I was afraid 
to add a lot of contrast and like push really dark with my markers. And now my pieces are like not that high contrast. I wish I went a little darker with my blacks and a lighter with my whites. That sounds racist, but it's not. Yeah, this one, this one, five out of five. Oh. This, this is a piece. So yeah, this is how I usually draw people. And like, I don't know what came over me. They just have a different art style in my other piece, but like, that was that drawing, that other drawing was like done by me. Okay, so this piece is about the ocean. Okay, this one talks about how littering, putting plastics in the ocean um, is going to seep into salmon life and kill all the salmon. They'll end up prematurely birthed and like half developed and still like attached to the egg. Originally the plastic was exploding out of the borders showing that plastic is overwhelming, but then the way that it printed out, it didn't really work, so I just had to like crop it. All thanks to my art teacher, she's great. Shout out to art teacher for watching. Probably not, I hope you're not watching this, it'd be really embarrassing. Uh, I think I had the same problem with this one where I wish like I pushed the darks more and I made like the hair darker here, made like, the, like make the dark places actually dark instead of being afraid to like leave a mark on the paper. I wish I made the white parts more light. You just contrast is important, guys. <laughs> I do like how the um, watercolor seeps into the salmon. I think that's a really cool drippy effect. And then this piece, this piece was one of the pieces that I submitted to my local library, and it ended up being like displayed there, which I thought was pretty cool. Okay, so for I feel like for the other pieces, you can't really tell what it means unless I explain it to you because you're stupid and you don't understand symbolism. But this one, I feel like the symbolism is pretty explicit. Okay, so this one is basically like, wow, we are, we are putting carbon into the ocean and it is killing all the color and all the life in the ocean. So we need to stop polluting the ocean. Wow, I'm so creative. Oh, I remember painting this one. This one was like, Really, this one was really hard for some reason because it was like so much going on and so many different colors. Like all my other ones were like basically just blue. This one has like the entire chroma, the entire rainbow. Like colorblind people are screwed when they see this one. I guess like blue colorblind people also are screwed when they see my other drawings. But anyway, this piece, I don't know. I think it was one of the harder ones because I had to draw a full person and drawing full people is really, really hard. I had a lot of trouble with the foot, which I may have also, again, asked someone for help to draw. Not saying I did though, I may have done that, but I definitely did it. Um, again, all of, most of all of these pieces are watercolor and like pencil crayon and just graphite. I, re I really got used to using these like tempura pucks not the, not the sushi tempura, it's like tempura, which is like a watercolor, cheaper watercolor, oil-based, not oil-based, water-based, mainly because I was in the poor mindset and I was too afraid to use any of the expensive materials in case I used them wrong and I wasted them. I think this one is less of a favorite, but still a favorite <coughs> because because it's just like, it's more predictable. Oh my God, it's not like such a pretentious art person. I feel like it's a little bit more not my idea. Like, I feel like this has been done before, but I don't know. I mean, still great piece. Three out of five. Last piece, my portfolio, this guy, we got a, we got a horizontal one this time. And this one is symbolizing how we are going to kill ourselves slowly if we continue to ignore the ocean and what we're doing to it. And if we don't have our oceans, then we're also going to die. So that'd be really unfortunate if we all die. No. It was this piece in front and then this piece was also hung. And then this piece was in the back to symbolize how detached the humans are from the situation. And then the water is just there. I don't remember what the water is there for, probably cause it's the ocean stuff and like ocean is a big, ocean is what I'm talking about. Like, are you even paying attention? 
Are you even paying attention to this video? Do you even care about me? I'm trying so hard for you. Uh, this piece, okay, this piece was actually one of the hardest pieces to do. Mainly because, okay, this was during like all the other AP exams and I was so tired and frustrated. And also I just am not confident with drawing like landscapes or backgrounds and 90% of this is just like a city landscape, which was really hard for me to figure out. But I really like how the water turned out in this one. I think it looks super realistic. And I, yeah, I just think it looks super cool and super like, like it actually looks like water on a street, you know? But I think this one is my least favorite out of the portfolio ones. Cause I think at the end I was just like really tired and my ideas were getting worse and worse. And I don't like the way the sky turned out that much. Uh, I was gonna say it's Jungkook from BTS. Jungkook is in a lot of my portfolio. You don't, you won't see it. I don't know if I'll show it to you, but Jungkook, he's in, he's in like a lot of my portfolio. But yeah, this piece, this piece was causing me a lot of pain, emotionally, physically, mentally. And in the end, it didn't turn out the best looking. But so this one's a two out of five. Mm, and with that, we are at the end of my portfolio. Let me know if you like actually want like tips and tricks to do well on the AP portfolio, APR portfolio. I mean, I personally don't think there's like a strategy to it. Just draw, just draw good and you'll probably be doing fine. And then choose an inquiry question you like so you're not ending up like being slow. You gotta be fast. But like, I mean, like you're drawing so much of the same thing, you're gonna get sick of your inquiry question either way. So just choose something, choose something you like. Bah! Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it because my throat didn't. I'm doing this for you. You should feel bad that I'm suffering for you. And I wish you all the best. And I hope you have a great day.